Hello, it's Jake with Goat Dispatch Goat Rental. I want to do a quick little video. Talk about late season goat browsing. So we're at Shakopee Memorial Park here. Just picking up the goats today. It's like November 2nd or 3rd or something. Just wanted to show some of the size of these massive buckthorn. And uh, some of the girdling that's going on on some of these big ones. And then just uh, kind of do a quick little little tour here so we got a honeysuckle that's how they strip the bark on this see the lighter color bark in this mass and even getting around the smaller tiny ones that are size of a pencil we got some box elder that they're chewing chewing up pretty good especially the ones that are kind of out in the middle of nowhere here trying to show the girdling They also ate a lot of the uh, seed heads off of the goldenrod, so this is pretty heavy goldenrod. But uh, yeah, they did a good job of cleaning those off. Can't speak exactly how many of those are destroyed in the gut. I know buckthorn seeds are pretty high, but if the goats weren't here, they'd just be falling on the ground. Anyway, another girdling, some buckthorn, smaller buckthorn again. Kind of see bark on that. And then, doo -doo -doo. so here's some branches that people are throwing in, cutting down. As you can see, they chewed that up pretty good. And this is our theory on how the savanna was made. So we see our nice bur oak here. Invest in thick bark rather than thin bark like other species. Nice and untouched. Little bottom pruning, that's not going to hurt it. It's above the browse line. I'm going good. This is our theory how the savanna was made. The weakest point of a of the brush or the woody species are the winter time. It's when they're the most vulnerable. Everything else has gone dormant here. Your herbaceous, your grasses. So they're just sticking out here right for the taking from goats. Pretty cool spot. And again, we have a lot of nice habitat here. Still got a lot of nice canes up here. Seen a lot of goldfinches eating at these seed heads and all these stems here for wildlife. I'll walk over here quick. before this is you can barely even crawl through this stuff over here about a month ago again girdle 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 and this is one year's growth a lot of these I mean not probably not that one but uh these things come back pretty fast so unless you want to burn every single year it's gonna be sometimes hard to stay ahead of some of these it's been pretty wet this year Goats have been still working even when it's been wet. But yeah, it's a nice site here. If you have any questions, check out the YouTube channel on our website, goatdispatch.com. Still looking to do some projects. I'm moving into Burnsville and some Egan sites next here. Even with snow on the ground, a lot of these uh, woodier species are still well above the snow line, hopefully for a while. So we'll be working. And we work year round. We have some sites that uh, we're doing all winter long. So again, back to the oak here. Still top. We got a little bit of the top, so if a person really wanted to do we could put a cage around this to keep the deer off and the goats off. Kind of a thicker cage ring. But at least the bark is protected. Thank you.